So, before we get started, I wanted to show you guys what we've done to our backyard. We've made it totally dog friendly, dog proof, dog fun. So here we have the dogs running outside. We got this new um, bed thing that I saw on Amazon. It's like a lifted bed for outside, so it's waterproof. It doesn't look that comfortable, but I assume it's more comfortable than lying like on the wood like Winnie likes to do. Well, you guys can come up here. Supposedly. Good girl. It's what they often use at dog shelters because it's elevated, it gives them enough support, and it's easy to clean. Yeah. So we had Winnie on there once today. Was she sleeping? She wasn't sleeping. She was more so concerned because that, you know, eight inch gap is weird. Is too much for her. But she loves raised beds. She does, but once she gets on them, eight inches is too much for her to jump off. Look guys, come up here. It's the comfy pit. Not sponsored. <laughs> See, Thomas is up there. Oh, there we go. They're just confused as to what to do with it. You guys are supposed to sleep on here. It's for sleeping. Yeah, it's for sleeping. And chillaxing. Are you sure that they're not gonna like poke through it with their feet? I guess it's, it's dog proof. Very much durable. So. Yeah. Fun to assemble because the instructions are make it and that's it. Yeah. Step one, assemble. That's it. <laughs> but we figured it out. I'm sure they'll get used to it. It just takes a few days. And then over here, we put a little dog gate that easily opens and closes just to keep Tumnus from running out because we don't have a fence yet. We kind of have a fence. Get over that. there. <laughs> That's where Tumnus goes to the bathroom. Just because we have no fence and that just keeps it safe because we have coyotes and hawks and all kinds of stuff, so. It's a nice little area that we can put them in without having to completely suit them up in a harness and a leash. Yeah. So we can supervise them, he can do his business, and then we can bring him back in. Yeah, it's been pretty good. Yeah. So we have one, two, three things. We're trying to stop Tumnus from using pee pads anymore. We prefer him to go on the grass, but this is just for safety just in case, but hopefully we won't need them for too much longer. Mm -hmm. But this isn't the only new stuff that we got. What else did we get? I feel like we have to do a full out tour. We okay. got the dog stuff. Yeah. Now it's time for the human stuff. We got human stuff? We got human stuff. Oh, we did. But our house is kind of messy. <laughs> a little bit messy, but we'll show you guys. So we got a little cow print bench. My mom put pillows there to make it look more like a little seated area. So I think it looks kind of nice there underneath our wedding photo. Don't go down the stairs, you're too small. You're too small. And then over here in our dining room, we finally got some artwork. So it's like a forest. It reminds me of the opening to Twilight, if we're being honest. But I love it so much. I'm not gonna show you the whole room because it's very messy. I have my jewelry stuff everywhere. But I just think it works so well. I love the black and white. I love it. And there was one casualty, however. The tree over there is now gone. We used to have a tree here. I gave it to my parents because I felt like it was too tropical for the look of these trees. So it's gone now, but. Love it! Love it! I'm just glad that we're almost out of stuff to put on the walls because that means I don't have to do it again. <laughs> I'm gonna sit in this new little nook because it's so cute and it's furry. We're gonna be talking about slit-mouthed woman today. Ty probably has no idea who she is. Basically, it's this entity, it's from Japan, and she comes up to you with a mask on, which is actually very fitting for this, you know, past year. This legend has been around for years, I think about 10 years or so. No, more than that. Decades. Hundreds of years. <laughs> I totally forgot my own thing. Get your story right. <laughs> if you haven't seen me talk about it, go on to my main channel and go watch it first. She has a whole backstory. But basically, she comes up to you with a mask on. She asks you, Am I pretty? If you say yes, she attacks you. If you say no, she lets you go home. But then later that night, she goes after you and gets you. So really, e either answer that you choose is There's gonna no be winning. wrong. There's no right answer. So after I did that video, I got an Instagram DM from a girl, she's one of our subscribers, and she claimed that she had met the slit-mouthed woman with her mom years ago. So she told me the story. She gave me permission to tell you guys today. I'm gonna say her first name, but she wants her identity private, which makes sense. So I'm gonna read you her story. It's really, really creepy. And uh, yeah, do you, do you want to sit down? 
You look very uncomfortable. I'm standing and I also don't think this bench could support my weight. Okay, so her name is Rencia. I hope I'm saying that right. I think it's beautiful by the way. It sounds like a princess. Okay, so here is what she said. I was staying in Japan with my mother for three months because she was doing a huge project there for work. One evening as we were driving home, she realized that we didn't have any food in the house for dinner and we had to run to the grocery store. When we got there, it was oddly empty with only a few people in the store. We were walking down the dairy section when we saw a woman at the very end bent over picking up a carton of milk. She had this long dark hair that covered her face and looked like it went down to her waist. It was strange because she wasn't moving. It was like she was frozen there. We had to get milk and felt super awkward about going right up to her, but we had no choice. As my mom knelt down to grab a carton, the woman turned her head and looked up at us. Her eyes looked sad and a white mask covered her mouth and she said, do I look okay? My mom nodded and then she said, my mom nodded again. She then left all of her stuff there and walked out of the store. I'll never forget it. Weird, right? Yeah, it's a, it's a little weird. It could have been a normal woman <laughs> just being like, do I look okay? Is my hair cool? But like she left all of her stuff. She seemed really strange. She was like frozen in the dairy aisle, like not moving until someone came up to her. So it kind of gave me the chills. It creeped me out a little bit. So. In all honesty, if I saw somebody twisted and bent, not moving. One, I'd get my phone at the ready to call an ambulance. Would you like run away? Part of me would. <laughs> no, I'm really big, guys. I'm not very brave. I've seen enough horror movies to know that if there's something funky going on, you don't sit there and investigate. Yeah. You don't look into it too far. Leave people to their business. If they're seriously injured and they need help, absolutely Obviously. help somebody. But if stuff's a little wonky, you know. It's okay. <laughs> but clearly you guys are okay if this happened a few years ago, which is good, unless she's like really waiting. Like really, really waiting. Well, they didn't okay. say that the person was pretty or not. So that could be the loophole. <gasps> she nodded. Yeah. She didn't say anything verbal. Yes, that your mom is so loophole. smart. That could be it. Because there was a loophole that I was telling on my main channel where if you say you're okay or you're so-so, you give her a middle answer, so it's not one or the other, then you're okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> then apparently you're fine. Yeah, creepy story. Thank you, Rencia, for sending that. And also, you guys, if I ever do a main channel video and you have your own personal story that you would like us to read on the vlog channel, definitely send it. Give me permission to read it. I could always keep your identity private, but uh, yeah, cool story. Scary story. Very scary story. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out the merch website. We have so many cool new items on there. And uh, yeah, have a good rest of your day and we'll see you in our next video. Bye. See you guys.